So besides horror and watching action thrillers and fucking musicals and all kinds of films, I mean, I of course I'm a fan of comedy and dramas. And I mean, there's no better show you can probably look look towards right now than The Marvelous Miss Maisel. It is a damn good show. Five seasons. The first four flawless i thought the first four seasons are pretty good i feel like maybe it was the second or third or i think the second season or third season that kind of like slowed down a little bit but for the most part it was a good series but this last fifth season man it, it really kind of dropped the ball you know the the show start uh, the show follows this character midge mazel who is played by rachel Bo- brosnahan i forget i'm i'm not sure how to pronounce her name but she's this uh 50s 60s era housewife who ends up being separated from her husband because her husband cheats on her and she's in a jewish household so you know a jewish woman husband divorced got two kids not really looking good for a woman in that time period you know and she ends up uh becoming a comedian she ends up using all the these tragedies and shortcomings of hers uh in she ends up benefiting from that by becoming a comedian uh and at these local bars and pubs and stuff and i mean it's just a really cool story about someone just overcoming rules of the male world you know i mean it's it really is a cool show and i won't say it's like you know all feminist and shit but i mean i guess it kind of gets there in po- at points but overall it does show how you know it was a man's world and and it's a great a great story of a woman that just went against the grain you know and and was able to make a make a living and name out of herself when no one else thought that she could but uh so the show follows midge Maisel and just all the shit that she goes through with her jewish family and you know her the her uh in-laws you know that are that she was married into that are still like amazing and you know a part of her life and just all the shit she goes through and you know it's just so good you know and the fifth season really just tears all that down because she ends up getting on you know the gordon ford show back in the day is one of those uh it was, it was like the ed sullivan show or you know back in the day the fucking tonight show and all that shit and how she ends up being a writer for it and ends up defying expectations that she can be funny and that she can be a comedian and ends up taking the world by storm and this last season it was just kind of lame you know because they really kind of made her character like the what she didn't want to be i don't know if that was the plan i don't know if it was this, like early pre-writer strike nonsense of them like not sure how to end the series but you know she totally like ruins kind of ruins the life of her kids and you know she ends up kind of living alone and it's it's just kind of like a really sad and bleak ending to a really funny and upbeat show that's why i say for what it's worth the first four seasons are really really good they're really funny Ha, like has it has its dips in sometimes but overall it's a great show and like her parents hilarious uh the her father is played by tony shalom or shalom he was the guy that was monk uh, he's been in a couple other films but like fuck he, he is just my favorite part of the show um you know his name is abe wiseman they were the wisemans and him and his wife were just hilarious and the mazels the in-laws that were her you know her father-in-law and stuff that she married into uh moish and shirley oh my god they are equally as amazing and all these actors that were in this you know i've never seen them in anything before and they're all great i mean i would love to see them in anything else that they can do respectively like you know whatever shows that they're going to be in i will definitely watch you know even uh joe mazel played by michael zegan the he was awesome being the husband of the show that that makes her the the wit the you know the divorce or she doesn't even get divorced she you know they end up just separating that makes her the downgraded woman that she is now because remember she's a jewish woman in the 1950s 60s you know with two kids and you know no husband she's not not prime real estate anymore even though she is fucking gorgeous i mean damn the rachel brosnan is a gorgeous actress apparently she got she's in the running to be lois in the new uh in james gunn's new superman legacy film so i mean i'm kind of down to see her as lois lane honestly i'm i'm totally with it and then alex borstein is in it you know she's playing uh, she plays Susie, who is her uh who is midge's like lesbian fucking butch talent manager <laughs> she is awesome you know no shit taken no you know no bullshit taken manager and she just kind of ends up figuring it out as well like she wants to be a talent manager and ends up you know rising up in a man's world but she's so butch that people kind of try to walk over her and she uses that to her advantage of like nah i ain't gonna take shit from you like you want to give me shit i'm gonna give you shit right back you know and it's just awesome to watch like some of the dialogue is fantastic most of the show is filmed in like single sets like right 
quiet. It's like a room and it's all, it seems like it's all one take shots a lot of the time. And it's just awesome. Like it's like practically theater, you know, it's beautiful, but definitely one of the best done, sh- one of the best done shows on television. You know, I forget um, who the director is. Ah, her name is Amy, uh, Amy Palladino, and she was actually the creator of Gilmore Girls, which is pretty wild, you know, because my girl's a big fan of the Gilmore Girls, so I don't even know if she knew that she was the creator of Marvelous Miss Maisel, and now that she, now she'll know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, kudos to Amy. I mean, she, she, like I said, she created a fantastic show. Not sure what, what, not sure what really happened at the end there. Like, I feel like it could have ended on such better terms, or it could have ended, like, completely differently than how it did but like i said it was a fantastic show in the like from from four seasons it had me hooked and i definitely was excited to see this final season but unfortunately in my opinion yeah it just wasn't that good i mean for fuck's sake it starts out with her daughter in like therapy in like the early 2000s and you're just kind of like what the fuck is going on (laughs) or like the 90s or some shit it's so random but yeah it's a great it is a great show it's a great series i really suggest you check it out it's just it's pretty funny and like i said that acting in it and the directing the the scenes so many of the scenes are so good classic bits throughout i mean it's definitely i feel like it should be a show that will be remembered for a while i do feel like they dropped the ball right at the end so a lot of people probably will be like ah you know i feel like a lot of people probably didn't like it i mean it, it, considering how it was leading up it just they could have focused on so much other shit instead of her kids and just the gordon ford show you know they could have they and then they had like an episode where it was in the future and it was Susie Meyerson, you know, her manager having like a, a, a roast. They do the roast of her and end up talking about all this stuff that she's done and what, you know, how this happened or how this deal came through or how she became this or got known by this. And it's like, we don't really care, you know, just show us. Why do we have to make it a flashback at this weird future event? You know, like it was just so unnecessary. Had a whole episode dedicated to that. But anyway, like I said, it was a great show. Watch the early seasons. I guarantee you'll get a kick out of it and you'll enjoy it. It's just so well, very well written, very well acted and just all around a good time. So yeah, Mar- Marvelous Miss Maisel. It's on Amazon Prime. Um, check it out. This has been Ghost on the Craig. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. <laughs>